I have my uh, delivery gear on here and stuff here. I think I'm gonna go out uh, for probably just like a couple of hours really, um, just to get like a taste of um, how it all works. I must admit, I'm pretty excited. I've got the app uh, downloaded on my phone, so you have like a separate app um, to be a driver, and then you've got like delivery app to actually order the food, etc. Let's uh, get people in Hackney some food. Here she is, the uh, trusty Steve. Find your way to me. Give her a spiff. So the uh, first thing you have to do um, when you're beginning your shift is go uh, straight to the um, centre of uh, your zone. My zone is in Dalston, so I have to go straight to the middle of it. Um, it's a pretty um, smart move from delivery. What that means is uh, you can't just sit at home and kind of not be ready for the first delivery. I think it's kind of you know, kicks you out of the house. And as you can see, <laughs> I've got my gear on. I'm going through Hackney Downs right now. So it means that as soon as you get that first order, um, you're on the money and ready to go. So it's a, it's nice um, from an operations point of view um, for them. They know that as soon as the driver clicks on, they're not, they can't be uh, sat in the flat in their boxes uh, like I was about half an hour ago. <laughs> it means that uh, they are out and on the bike, ready to go. On a day like today, um, like thinking about the experience of just being out here, um, got the box on, like it's, it's pretty pretty damn pleasant actually, like uh, just in between deliveries now, heading to a drop off and um, it's nice, there's the sun shining, I get to meet people, be it only for like a couple of minutes or so each time and uh, yeah you kind of discover um, the new restaurants of the area kind of in your mind thinking about like oh yeah I'd like to come here could bring my friends here or like go on a date here um so there is like an element of uh like area discovery and like kind of i say like a small element of interaction as well and just being out on the bike in the sun is, is really nice just going again now all right so i've just got to the center of dalston and i've clicked available for deliveries so um I am fully ready to go. I think like this brings you straight to one of like the first frustrations of um, like being a, a, a courier or like a delivery driver. The kind of time where you're waiting for jobs. So um, the model that I'm working on with Deliveroo is a uh, like per job basis. So I get paid um, £3.75 for every job that I do. So it's really nice because I can work flexibly, but it does mean that like in this time I'm standing here, I'm not earning like any money. It's resulting like if, if, it, if it's not orders popping off, which I can tell you it's, it's not right now, because this is like you know Saturday afternoon, people are probably on a walk and stuff. It is a bit of a frustration because I'm like, cool, I want to get going, I want to start earning, and uh, you can't. But that, I, I think to be fair, that is the price you pay like for flexibility. I have just been able to turn this on and you know, I'm sure like an order will come through in the next kind of five minutes or so. Um, but like, we'll see. I have to, I have to cross my fingers, and that's like that is the first frustration. So I just uh, dropped off my order to um, the business just behind me. I call like fashion business actually. Um, humbly walked in and gave them the sandwich that I was holding. <laughs> Um, but thinking about um, operations um, in terms of kind of what efficiencies um, we can look at making. One big thing is about uh, making sure that the customer um, and the restaurant has given clear instructions um, for pick up and drop off. Um, a lot of the time for me, like, you know, I either want to stay on my bike and move um, off the location as fast as possible, or I want to hand over and get onto the next order as quick as I can. As much as um, we can do as a team to um, incentivize people to leave these notes as possible, then the faster that um, we can help our representatives and like drivers be um, actually delivering those jobs. That's the big operational efficiency that I see, is um, leaving clear um, drop-off notes on top of um, very specific addresses where possible. I 
Another thing I've noted as I've been out here is the camaraderie between um, the delivery drivers that you have, like, be it the guy who kind of, just when I started was like, hey, it's quite, it's quite quiet today, just letting you know, and he kind of gave me a nod and drove on, and then next I've just had a really big pickup and they actually sent a couple of drivers and um, the guy was like just saying, uh, explaining it to me and saying, yeah, I've actually been working with delivery for two years and you know, it's quite a camaraderie. It's like you make connections with people quite quickly and that's actually pretty nice, I like that. I think a key frustration um, when you are out here um, on the job is when it's really quiet. You know, at the moment I'm waiting in Dalston. I've been here for about 15 minutes and uh, no jobs have come through. We have to look at that and think about, well, from delivery's point of view, that's good because it means that when there's low demand, they're not like ultimately from a business point of view, they're not paying me. Although from like my point of view, um, you know, I'm kind of out, I've got my kit on, I'm not earning any money. Although the flip side for me is that I do get flexibility. Um, I'm allowed to pick when I work. So um, there's, there's lots of pros and cons. I do think, to be fair, delivery do well. Um, in the app, they have a thing called Pulse, um, which is like a snapshot of when it's gonna be busiest on that day, like kind of based on their um, demand predictions. So it gives you a like, better sense of when you should like clock in and out. And the other thing they do is actually they send you um, a thing called Rider Intelligence, which is like Pulse for the week, kind of where demand is at. So they do do a lot of things to try and mitigate this for the driver. But I think that like, um, Ultimately, like it is a frustration, like kind of waiting for orders. Um, but I think delivery do well to um, try and make like the supply and give them the tools to make them as happy as possible. So I think it mitigates, uh, you know, the ability to complain because it's like, look, we did tell you it was going to be quiet here, so like that's kind of your bad. So they are. Uh, we are back in the office. Um, I think the first thing is sorry for the audio. Uh, I am I'm told uh, that the audio could have been better in places and it was patchy at best, so um, our apologies. I think we'll have to try and get that right next time, won't we, camera woman? <laughs> um, yummy! It was really delicious. Did you? Yeah. I think, uh, just reflecting on the experience on Saturday afternoon, it was really uh, nice to meet uh, such a selection of people when you're out there. You get to meet obviously the customers, but actually even more importantly, and it was unexpected for me, is the kind of the community uh, that the drivers have. So um, when you're picking out the jobs or dropping them off, there's always like a few people waiting around there, and they'll always nod at you and smile. And that's, that was actually really nice. So I enjoyed that, um, and it was really good uh, to just get just get a helmet on and get out on the streets and actually try this thing because I think there's so much to be learned just from. Um, actually giving it a go instead of just making up theory about it, so really enjoyed it.